40 years ago, I was a medical student here at the University of Toronto, and I learned about IVF, in vitro fertilization, otherwise known as test tube babies. And we're really scared because we're freezing eggs and sperm in these cryogenic facilities and wondering whether we were going to get weird babies out of it. The reality is it's not true because millions of babies around the world are now healthy and families are healthy and happy. And then when I was an intern right here above me at the University Health Network, also known as Toronto General Hospital, I was part of a brand new liver transplantation team. And I learned that, wow, we needed organs to help people from other people to live. And then 20 years ago in my own practice, we started learning about genetics, that you could learn about your own blueprint and that you would learn about your telomeres, the tips of your chromosomes. Five years ago, I put my hair follicles, stem cells into these vats so that I will never age. Now, what is the future now of my hair follicle? Well, here's what I know today. Within this year, I will get growth factors that I will get to put into my skin cells and it's going to help erase, or shall I say reduce, my scar. It's going to help reduce or eliminate some of my sun damage and aging skin by lifting it because it's going to stimulate my own collagen in a non-surgical way.